Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I have an amazing smelly mail package to share with you. Um, there are a ton of fragrances in here so I'm gonna jump right in because this will probably be a long one. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the full bottles that she sent. These were sent from my beautiful friend Christine. She sent me a couple of full bottles that didn't work for her and then she sent me um, some samples and of some things that she just got. And then she made decants of like almost everything in her personal collection. So, and there are some amazing fragrances in here and I cannot wait to share everything with you. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna start with the full bottles. The first one that she sent, I, was so excited because I love Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is, I think, like at one of the limited edition ones, and this is uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique Eau Fraiche, which I absolutely love. How cute is that um, packaging, too? It's adorable. I absolutely love Jean-Paul Gaultier bottles. I just think that they're stunning. Um, and this one with the blue dress is just beautiful. I love this one because it's classique, but just a little bit lighter and a little bit more wearable. I absolutely adore it. I mean, I don't find the original to be unwearable at all. And this, it's funny, this is deceptive. deceptive. It's called an eau fraiche, but it's very, very potent. It's, I mean, it's an eau fraiche that is gonna perform like an eau de parfum, I'm quite sure. Um, it's very potent, it's gorgeous. It's flowers and it's kind of sweet. It's similar to, um, it's similar to Poem from Lancome. This is lighter though, and maybe a little bit less complex. I love it. If you like Classique, I think you would really like this version. It's stunning. I cannot wait to wear this. This is uh, such a blast from the past for me. I had a friend in high school who wore this. So it's just, it's super nostalgic smelling for me and I absolutely love it. So that is the first thing. That is Jean-Paul Gaultier Eau Fraiche. Okay, next she sent this here. This is a Beverly Hills Polo Club Sexy for Her. Um, I think that this is, I think this is like a Ross or a TJ Maxx find for her. Or she might have ordered it from uh, fr Fragrance Net or something, but I, I feel like it's probably an, um, like a shopping find. Um, this one says that it's an oriental floral fragrance with mandarin, orange blossom, and bergamot uh, blended with jasmine, Turkish rose, and white musk. Um, this... This smells exactly like something. It reminds me of a, a, like a, it reminds me of something. It's gotta be a clone of something. Um, I meant to look it up before I sat down to film, but I'm just gonna look it up right now and we're gonna find out what this is a clone of. Also, let me know, um, you know that Walmart has all of their like fragrance kits out for the, uh, for Christmas or whatever. And I've been really tempted by that Sabrina Carpenter fragrance. Let me know if any of you have um, smelled or tried that fragrance and if it's worth me picking up. It says La Vie Belle. It, no, that's not, that's not right at all. I don't know, it's really nice. This is one of those fragrances that will just be a complete easy reach. It's very clean smelling, it's a little bit floral, um, it's warm, it's just gonna be a super easy reach, but that's what I get from it. It's like a warm, clean floral. It's, I was really surprised at how strong this one was. When I saw it, I thought, oh, it's probably gonna be, um, I don't know, it just kinda looks like something that might end up smelling or performing like a body spray. No, not at all. It's actually really, really strong. I don't know, I really like it. I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for something that's just like an easy, re oh sorry, I just kicked the camera. If you're looking for something that's just like a super easy reach, um, yeah, this is, this is definitely a nice fragrance. So anyways, that is Beverly Hills Polo Club Sexy for Her. Okay, and then she sent, um, she sent a little mini and I was super excited about this because um, I've been so interested in these fragrances for women. So this, these are Ferrari fragrances, but all of these like luxury sports cars like Ferrari, Lamborghini, um, 
they all make fragrances and I'm for whatever reason I'm really intrigued by them very interested in them um, she sent I think she sent a couple I think she's got a couple of the Lamborghini fragrances and she sent some um, decants of those and then she sent this little mini this is Ferrari noble fig this is a little 10 mil um, mini I love this I love a fig fragrance and that's basically what it is yeah it's a super nice like fresh fig it's really beautiful um, if these if this is super affordable I think that this would be an amazing like affordable fig fragrance so I am super excited about that one okay she sent a um, this is a sample of a Solstice Scents fragrance, and this is Solstice Scents, and it's called Basilica. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is like a, it's like a woody incense fragrance. It's gorgeous. A warm, kind of dark, woody incense. Really beautiful. I'm gonna be excited to test that one. And then she sent a big, um, this is a big decant. This is from DSH Perfumes. Okay, she sent a bunch of um, samples from DSH Perfumes and this one is called Orion. And this, this one is not on Fragrantica. This is gorgeous. This reminds me, it reminds me a lot of Amois Journey, honestly. It smells kind of like a sweet, um, interesting kind of jasmine scent. It reminds me a ton of Amois Journey. So I really like this one. Um, beautiful Christine sent me a bottle of Journey. So um, yeah, this it really reminds me of Journey. I really like it. So that is the first one. That is DSH Perfumes and that is Orion. Oh, she also sent a little, um, this is a little packet from Kiehl's. This is Calendula uh, Herbal Extract Toner. Alcohol free, made with whole flowers and pure extracts for normal to oily skin. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. I really like Kiehl's skincare. I think it's super nice. Uh, she and then she sent. Okay, and then she sent these little samples from DSH. Um, let's see. The first one. The first one is called Foxy. Okay, and Foxy, uh, Foxy smells like straight up booze to me. Yeah, this one smells like, it's very, very slightly animalic, and it's it smells like very slightly animalic spiced booze with some sweetness. And I think this one has some beeswax in it, and you definitely get a waxiness from the beeswax. It's really, really beautiful. I am very excited to try this one. Um, I have a feeling that the animalic quality of it will um, kind of fade away as it gets into the really deep dry down and I think it's gonna be gorgeous. It's a really, really boozy fragrance. Um, okay, next we have Rattlesnake Musk. And let's see, what does this smell like? This one is interesting. This is a very interesting fragrance. It's got like a very, um, it's got a dryness to it like a really, really astringent quality to it. Like when you smell it, it's like it sucks the water out or like it sucks all the moisture out of the air. Like it sucks all the moisture out of the breath you're taking in. It's really a strange like sensation. It's super nice. It's really, really interesting. It, I don't think that this is something I would want to, I'm gonna test it for sure because you never know what fragrances are like until they are actually on your skin. Um, I don't know that this is something I would want to smell like super often, but it is very, very interesting. It's, it's hard to even explain. It's a really interesting fragrance. So that one is called Rattlesnake Musk. And then we have got L'Etoile de Vision, Vision probably. And let's see, what does this one smell like? This one is, it's super nice. And again, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my finger. Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely test these all. Yeah, this one is interesting too, but I find that like a lot of niche fragrances just smell like the same thing over and over again. Like they're all trying really, really hard to be super interesting and they all end up smelling 
very, very similar. And this is one of those niche fragrances where I'm like, man, you smell like a hundred other niche perfumes I've smelled. Um, it's fine. It's not, you know, it kind of reminds me of the smell of hair dye. I know that sounds, that sounds weird, but you know, like when you dye your hair, like with a box dye, it reminds me of the smell of, you know, that's kind of wafting around you when you've got your hair up and you're waiting for your box dye to process. Yeah, it's, this one is, it's fine, but I wouldn't want to smell like, um, I wouldn't want to smell like this. This is why I am very, very leery about a lot of um, niche fragrances because a lot of them, they're like trying really hard to be niche and to be interesting. And a lot of times they just miss the mark and they just don't smell good. Um, Christine said that she was pretty disappointed. She just ordered these not long ago and she said she was pretty disappointed with the DS D uh, DSH fragrances and I can understand why. They're expensive and you know, you just expect more. Okay, this one I remember loving. This one is called Chinchilla and yeah, I think of all the DS, DS I, I keep wanting to say D, I don't even know, DSH fragrances, this was the one I liked the most. This is like an animalic honey fragrance but it's very, very complex. It's got a ton of stuff in it. It's got some spices, some flowers, um, some animal notes, honey, beeswax, just like a lot of things. This is another one that I feel like um, in the deep dry down, the animalic quality of it will dissipate and you're gonna be left with something fantastic. I don't know for sure, but I just have a feeling this one's gonna be really, really nice. So super excited to test that one out. That one is called uh, Chinchilla. Let's get into all of the fragrances that she sent. This is just a little box that she sent um, a bunch of decants in. Oh my gosh, there are uh, so many winners in here. She's got a super nice collection. Um, okay, this is a fragrance. This is also a DSH, a fra DSH fragrance. This was the other one that I really, really liked. Um, this is one that she really, really liked. This one is called Cathedral. Um, this is a stunning, kind of very, very slightly sweet, just enough sweetness to make it, um, to kind of um, temper the intense incensiness of it. But it's called Cathedral because it's a very intense incense fragrance. But again, with just enough sweetness to it that it kind of, um, I don't know, it tempers that. This is really gorgeous. I have no idea what's in it, but it's a stunning incense fragrance. And um, I feel like with a lot of incense fragrances, they all smell really, really similar. This one actually has a really beautiful uniqueness to it. I don't know, there's something about it. It's got something warm and spicy, almost like a, almost like an underlying cinnamon or something. It's beautiful. I love it. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm going to wait until it's really, really cold out though, because I think this is going to shine in really cold weather. Um, I love this. This is my favorite kind of incense fragrance. It's really warm and almost spiced and a little bit sweet. Um, but you have to be careful with incense because if you make it too sweet, it becomes very sickening. This has just the tiniest bit of sweetness, just the right amount, and it's gorgeous. Uh, so that is Cathedral from DSH. Okay, next we have, um, she went on a little shopping spree and she found some amazing fragrances at Ross. Um, this one is from Juicy and this is called Palm, Palm Trees Please. This is really, really nice. Um, I love this. This is such a fun, slightly sweet, clean, very slightly green fragrance. I think it's maybe got a little bit of melon in it. It's so fun, it's so fun. If I came across these in my Ross, I would definitely pick up a bottle because these would be, these are like the most easy 
to reach for warm weather scents. You could wear them any time of year, but very easy to reach for in hot weather. Um, I, I'm really, really partial to juicy scents. They make it like, I don't know, their perfumes after my own heart because a lot of them are sweet, they're fun, um, they're really youthful smelling, and I just really like juicy. So yeah, that one is called Palm Treats Please. I'm gonna go check out my Ross to see if I can find any of these because these are so fun. I really enjoy this one. Um, let's see, then we've got, ooh, this is from Latafa, and this one is called Shaheen, Shaheen, Shaheen Gold. I love this. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up picking up a full bottle of this. This is delicious. I'm not even gonna waste a spray of it because I really wanna give this a good, a couple of really good wear tests. But this is a beautiful kind of creamy, sweet. It's got some florals in it, but they're kind of nondescript. It's just my kind of a fragrance. It's like kind of gourmand leaning, um, kind of caramely. Um, uh, it's really yummy. I love it. So I can't wait to test that one. And you guys will see this in a what I wore last week video probably next week because this one I've been dying to wear. Um, and I really love it. I think I'm going to end up with a full bottle of this one. So that one is called Shaheen Gold from Latafa. Okay, next we have, I'm going to, I'm going to butcher this, but I think it's Kayed. Kayed Al Furson Unlimited from Latafa. This is another beautiful one. This is another kind of sweet, um, oh my gosh, I love this. Like sweet milky kind of fragrance. I love this. This is another one. I'll probably wear this and it'll probably be in the upcoming uh, What I Wore Last Week video. I love both of these Latafas that she sent. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up with bottles of both of them. They're right up my alley. So yeah, that one is called, uh, that one is called Kayed Al Furson Unlimited. Okay, next we have, this is Amouage Lyric. Uh, I had never smelled Lyric before and, oh, I love this. This is gorgeous, it's warm, it's a little bit vintage-y smelling. It is phenomenal, I cannot wait to wear this one either. In fact, I might end up wearing all three of these. Um, you're probably just going to see a whole bunch of these fragrances in what I wore last week video because, um, yeah, I'm like, there's so many of these that I can't wait to test out. Um, and Amouage Lyric is definitely one of them. It reminds me of something. It, this reminds me of some vintage fragrance from my childhood. I absolutely adore it. It's gorgeous. So that is Amouage Lyric. Okay, next we have... Okay, this is a Lamborghini scent. This is um, Ginevra Panther Tonino from Lamborghini, I believe. That's how you say it. I hope that's how you say it. Oh, I really like this. This is another light, kind of sweet, really super easy to reach for, clean, just super nice fragrance and the bottles to these are the cutest things ever they look like little cats i think these are the ones that she sent me a picture of and they look like little cats and they're the cutest things ever um yeah so i'm definitely gonna check these out i really really like this one it's a really nice fragrance super easy to reach for i'll have everything on the screen for you i haven't spent enough time with these yet to be able to give you like even really thoughts on them, just whether I like them first impression or not. Um, and first impression, I really like this one. I will also tell you, um, I sent her a link because these are the best little um, atomizers that I have ever found. I'll link them for you. I found them on Amazon. If you need some atomizers, these are the best. I have n I've sent so many decants of perfumes to so many people and I don't think that I've ever had a single one leak. Um, these are the best ones. They're plastic and I don't love that, but they're small enough that the perfumes shouldn't be in them for, I would imagine, a super long time before somebody would go through it. The best atomizers ever though, and they have an amazing spray and they're just, they're fantastic. I'll link them for you. But anyways, that is Ginevra Panther Tonino from Lamborghini. Okay, next we have, ugh, this is uh, Chant de Rome. De Chant de Roms from Guerlain. She just picked this one up too. 
This is another absolutely fantastic vintage scent. It's, it is vintage, but it's like, it's really, um, it's vintage, but it can, it doesn't smell dated, if that makes sense. It's really fresh and citrusy and a little bit aromatic. It's really gorgeous, very unisex, stunning. I can't wait to wear that one. Um, and then what do we have next here? <gasps> and then this is another one from uh, Solstice Scents. This is called Desert Thunderstorm. And this is gorgeous. It's very earthy. It almost smells like earth and clay and petrichor and it's gorgeous. It's so unique. I love Solstice Scents. They're one of my most favorite indie houses ever. I think that they just make some of the most amazing scents. And this definitely has that earthy Solstice Scents vibe to it. It's gorgeous. She said that it smells exactly like being in, a do in an adobe building out west. Um, I've definitely been through Arizona and New Mexico. Um, and even Texas, but I've never been inside an adobe building, so I don't know if that's true, but I'm sure it is. If she says that this is what it smells like, then this is what it smells like, and she said it's a really comforting scent for her. I think it's incredible. I love it. Can't wait to wear that one. That is Desert Thunderstorm from Solstice Scents. Okay, next we have... Um, oh, this is a good one. I think this is another Ross or TJ Maxx find. This is called Cashmere Kumquat from Cora's, and... This is, no, I don't think this, I think she picked this up off of makeup, the makeup, uh, makeup.com website. I'll link it for you. Um, this is gorgeous too. This is really simple and warm and easy. It's going to be a great, easy to reach for fragrance all year round, but I think it's going to be stunning in cold weather. Um, it's really, really beautiful. I really enjoy Cora's fragrances. Um, I think that they just make some stunning perfumes. This one has a beautiful, like warm, almost skin-like cleanliness to it. It's really beautiful. So that one is called Cashmere Kumquat from Cora's. Yeah, you guys are gonna end up seeing a lot of these in my next What I Wore Last Week video. Um, okay, she sent, this is another, I think she accidentally sent a duplicate. Um, this is Orion from DSH. I really, really like this one. This one almost smells like it could have a little bit of fig in it as well. I don't think it is fig though, because fig is so distinct. It's fig-like though. I don't know, it might be fig. It's warm, it's really beautiful. Again, I will have all the notes on the screen for you. Um, I probably won't go through this one again, but, or I probably won't pop the notes up for this one again, but, um, yeah, because you will have seen it just probably not too long ago. But yeah, really beautiful. This one is the one that I think I told I said reminds me of Amwaj Journey. So yeah, there's that one. Okay, next we have, this is another Lamborghini scent. This is Ginevra Angel Tonino from Lamborghini. Oh, I love this one. This one is so fun. It's sweet. This one is sweet. Yes, I love this one. Oh, yes, I love this. This smells like something. It smells like something that I know. It reminds me a little bit of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal, just a little bit. I don't think it's like a dupe of Scandal or anything, but it's something similar to that, and I can't wait to test it because I can't wear Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal. It doesn't mesh with my skin chemistry. Well, it might now since my chemistry's changed. Um, but typically I haven't been able to ever wear Scandal in the past. So I'm excited to try this one to see if this works because it's kind of similar to Scandal. I really like it. I'm super impressed by these little Lamborghini fragrances. I think they're so nice. Um, so that one is called Ginevra Angel Tonino from Lamborghini. Um, next, oh my gosh, you guys, this might be the best Demeter fragrance I've ever smelled. This is Demeter um, Devil's Food Cake and Holy cow, does this smell delicious. It smells, yeah, it smells like straight up cake. Almost like a, it, it's, to me, it smells like a mixture of like chocolate and vanilla. It kind of smells like a mixture of chocolate and vanilla cake. 
It's delicious. I can't wait to test this one. I am like praying that this performs better than most other Demeter scents, um, but I love the way it smells. It is delicious. It is so good. So this one is Devil's Food Cake from Demeter. Okay, and then we have, uh, I love this one too. This is another juicy fragrance that she found, I think at Ross, and this one is called It's Sunny Honey. Um, Oh my gosh, my daughter is gonna love this one. Charlotte's gonna adore this. I love this. This is the tropics in a bottle, but it's like a perfumey tropical scent. So, which is why I love it so much. It's not, um, it's not like a typical floral tropical or a typical beachy fragrance. It doesn't smell like a typical coconut fragrance. Um, I don't know. It's just a really unique, like tropical beachy type fragrance. It's got some beautiful flowers in it, but again, not like your typical, and they might be the typical beach flowers, but they don't smell typical. I just love it. It's like a really beautiful perfumey beachy fragrance. And I need to hustle to my Ross to see if they have this because I want a full bottle of this one. This one's this one is gorgeous. Um, also, I think she said that Walmart's got these marked down right now, so I need to check my Walmart. I meant to do that yesterday when I was there, and I forgot. So yeah, I need to check my Walmart because she said that they had them too, so I'm super excited. But anyways, that one is from Juicy, and that's called It's Sunny Honey. And then last but not least, we have a Mercedes fragrance, and this one is just Mercedes Woman. I have been so curious about this scent, so I'm super happy to have a sample of it and to be able to test it. This reminds me, this reminds me of Lancome Poem. Definitely. It smells like Lancome Poem or Jean-Paul Gaultier Classique, but more like Poem. Um, Classique is a little bit different. Classique is very orange blossom heavy to my nose. So I get the um, association. I get the similarities of the two, but I feel like um, I feel like they're very different, but Mercedes Woman smells a lot like Lancome Poem to me, which is one of my favorite perfumes in the world. I think it is a stunning fragrance, and I love it, so I cannot wait to give this one a really good wear test. Um, so yeah, that is Mercedes Woman. And yeah, you guys, you will probably see a ton of those samples in my upcoming What I Wore Last Week video because there are so many of them that I am so excited. Well, all of them. I'm so excited to test all of them. And thank you so much again to beautiful Christine for sending me this gorgeous package. Um, I've had the best time sniffing through your collection. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.